Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading between you and your soulmate. Now, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Scorpio, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. But when it comes to any of my readings, Scorpio, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments and hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards, right? Um, I also would like to ask you if you do enjoy this reading, I would to give my video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me, Scorpio. And then finally, uh, before we get into this reading, this reading is just here to give you some food for thought, something for you to think about while you go out throughout your week and something to give you some perspective of the situation, hopefully, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately the decision is for you to make and not me, Scorpio because it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that being said, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. The overall energy that we have going on for you is the Wombat Spirit, number 68. So that would be, uh, that would be 14, that'd be five for numerology, right? Yeah, five for numerology, Scorpio. So write that down to look up later. The Wombat Spirit says, be at home. So almost when you have it paired with the King of Fire as well, as the paired energy for the overall energy this week for you, Scorpio. Being at home while being having the King of Fire, this is almost like a, going, asking, hmm. it would be almost like Scorpio, think of it from a place of This may just only resonate for a few Scorpios, but I can't help but feel like some of you Scorpios are like stuck in this cycle of constantly looking at what it is that you could be doing to improve in yourself, um, which is not a bad thing, but it's almost as if you're putting this pressure on yourself to be this the ultimate person possible. I'm not even going to say the greatest version of yourself because it's like, I feel like it's like almost taking it up a notch um, in terms of severity for some of you Scorpios in that <clears throat> it just feels as if like you're putting so much pressure on yourself to improve yourself for somebody else because it's like um, you feel like there, it's just almost as if you're just assuming that there's something wrong with you, something that needs to be fine-tuned with you always um, for why a situation isn't quite panning out in regards to emotions, right? Because I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you kind of will... Not necessarily repel emotions, but you'll just associate that other people are more in touch with their emotions just because um, they express it in different ways. Maybe like they're more expressionate with their emotions, but just because they're more expressionate with their emotions doesn't necessarily mean that they're more in touch with them. It just means they're more dramatic, right? Scorpio, so I'm only just saying this just because it's like, I can't help but feel like for some of you guys, this wombat spirit and this king of fire is trying to like pull you back home and just be like, come back to reality, honey. Like, you stop getting into this cycle of um, almost self-deprecation and just assuming that there's always something wrong with you. And function from a place of being at home and just take a look at your surroundings and be able to just be like, you know what? This place isn't half bad. I'm not half bad. Why am I constantly feeling as if um, I need to do something to change, right? Why is it, why can't it be like a two-way street? Because it is a two-way street. When it comes to any type of like, connection when it comes to when in, in the more people that are involved in the connection means just as many people are responsible for that connection it doesn't shouldn't just fall off on the shoulders of one specific individual to constantly shape themselves for the other person to constantly feel as if they are the ones lacking while the other person has nothing that they need to improve on right um but you know, maybe that's not even going to resonate with a single Scorpio. But um, let's just get into the tarot side of things now. I'm going to be pulling a card for you, Scorpio, a card for them, um, and then a card for the energy between y'all two. And then I'm going to be pulling tarot fires to get a more fine-tuned message. So let's start getting into this. We have the Three of Wands on your side of things. So this is definitely an energy of 
figuring out what is the next right move. That is something something I keep on hearing, Scorpio, is you trying to ask yourself, what is the next right move? Maybe more than just in this in, in regards to this connection, Scorpio. Um, you like how I'm like pointing to you and I as if and talking about we're in this connection, Scorpio. But um it almost feels as if Scorpio, you're just in this place of just kind of like the sense of feeling lost because it's just like maybe for some of you Scorpios you don't know where it is that you're what it is that you're doing wrong you don't know what it is that you need to improve on and maybe Scorpio just consider the thought that's not on necessarily on you for some some specific outlet now I don't know if that's in regards to this connection or not right you'll know but um yeah we have the nine of pentacles coming in on their side of things scorpio now i'm gonna just be honest i when i see this coming in as the overall energy as someone's trait um scorpio i see this as someone who's pretty self-involved someone who isn't going to usually call themselves out now scorpio correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure in your last weekly reading that i did for you um that was a reading where i said it need, felt i felt as if you needed to hold a mirror to your person's face and just have them take a hard look in the mirror with themselves right now i don't know if you did that right maybe you didn't receive that message honey and i'm not gonna hold a grudge against you but be sure to check it out maybe um there'll be an extra message in there um for you to actually i do feel like i'm usually not about this scorpio i'm usually not about like oh check out my other well i guess i did do that for my intros but um Usually when it comes to like my past like love readings and stuff like that, I don't reference the past ones usually, but I do just can't help but feel like Scorpio, some of you guys need to check out my past love one. I'll leave a link to it actually as well. Um, so I feel like the last week's love messages would actually be relevant for some of y'all now. Um, because I'm kind of getting the same energy from before where it's just like this person seems to be just super self-involved. Um, which is not necessarily, I don't want to say it's necessarily a bad thing, Scorpio, because it's like everyone should be about themselves a little bit. And when you have the Nine of Pentacles, it's not on the severity of um, the Queen of Pentacles, right? If they're, they're, they're the Queen of Pentacles, honey, I'd be like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> that's when I'm just like, okay, this can be very iffy. Um, you know, it just almost feels like ignorance is bliss for them. So you kind of have to make them aware of their own ignorance. Four of Swords is the energy between y'all two. Now this is in the reverse, so this is letting me know of um, in this place of rectifying things, in this place of no longer constantly having like these like um, haunting thoughts in regards to this connection, um, which is interesting. So I don't know if you overcome that energy, Scorpio, of realizing that it's not just your place to improve. But um, let's see with these clarifiers. We're starting on your side of things, Scorpio. Remember with the Three of Wands and starting this out for you as the clarifiers, we have the Four of Cups coming in, the Nine of Wands coming in, as well as the Seven of Pentacles coming in. So this is interesting energy. This is actually extremely interesting energy, Scorpio, because it's like... Um, When you have this Four of Cups, I kind of feel like this Four of Cups is associated with your Nine of Wands in the sense that there's almost like a path that you're not wanting to acknowledge or look at where, you know, some of you guys might... Um, there's like almost like this... Col <laughs> I'm struggling saying, finding the right words for it, Scorpio. But it's almost like a sense of avoiding avoiding giving someone like an ultimatum and i know and i the ultimatum isn't probably the right word for it but it's almost just like a place of um you never like are willing to put yourself enough first and like how you want to be treated perhaps and be like hey if you do not treat me in this proper way i deserve this respect maybe you will for like a moment for maybe like a week or a weekend Scorpio but I kind of just get the sense of you just won't always like you won't upkeep them like you won't uphold people to hold them accountable towards treating you truly in the way that you deserve right when I see the seven of pentacles coming in I feel like this is one of those things of you'll just ask us something and then um, maybe they will act appropriate for a while right maybe this person will kind of be receptive towards you for a little bit and maybe this is not just even just with this person. Maybe you're just kind of used to this kind of aspect in your life of where people kind of like disappoint you. And so you can kind of have come up with the coping mechanism, Scorpio, of kind of learning to just be okay with it. 
um, learning to kind of, you know, as long as it slowly tapers off, you know, that behavior, then it kind of like you allow it to slide. I don't know if this is consciously or unconsciously Scorpio, but it's just like, I don't know. It's almost just like, I can't help but feel like that it just goes back into like these old cycles, these old habits where it's just like, you'll ask for so be to be treated with respect and then it'll slowly taper back off into where it's about, where it's constantly just about you, where you're constantly self-reflecting and feeling like there's something about wrong with you that you need to do to improve this situation. And I don't know. I just feel like that's not the case, Scorpio. Um, I pulled the clarifiers for them, Scorpio, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Remember, they have the Ten of Swords. They have the Six of Cups coming in. They have the World card coming in. Now, the Six of Cups for them was in the reverse, so they definitely have some repressed issues from the past that's causing them some trauma, um, that caused them some trauma, I guess. But it's like, they can't let go of something from the past. I don't feel like it's related to you, Scorpio. It shows to me, like, because it's like, keep in mind, this person's pretty self-involved. They're not aware of their own issues. They're not aware of, like, or maybe they're choosing to not be aware of, like, um, their behaviors and how, like, their past could be affecting their behaviors now in the world. Because I see this as, like, a constant cycle still. And that's why I was suggesting last week, Scorpio, to hold a mirror to their face. Because it's like, I see this person who just perhaps isn't doing shadow work, perhaps isn't truly holding themselves accountable to the things that they need to work on themselves, um, like past bad habits or whatever that would have were developed through the past um, experiences, they're not working on themselves. So it's kind of like a one-sided thing. Um, and then you have this four sword energy, which is in the reverse. So it is letting me know like it's slowly being relieved, but it's going to be relieved through, I mean, four swords as well, another confirmation of where things are healing. So two four swords coming in as like moving on healing from the situation. And it comes in from the place of the Empress and the Fool. So maybe, see, this that's the thing, Scorpio. I don't feel like when you hold a mirror up to their face, they will fight about it necessarily. They may resist a little bit. Their ego might shout um, a little bit. But in the end, I kind of see them realizing it's just like, wait a minute. Right? They kind of like, it's like once they realize you're both on the same team, then both you guys can kind of just let go and just be in this beautiful place of growing from one another where you're able to be like, okay, this is triggering me from what you said and this is why, you know? And it's just like this beautiful, it's like you guys create this beautiful, conducive environment for growth on both sides once you guys realize you're on the same team, fighting for the same team, when you both realize you guys are not fighting against each other and the lover's card did come out. So beautiful way to close off this reading, Scorpio. Um, kind of chaotic, kind of... A lot of passion, a lot of like, maybe like some fighting, but I don't see it like anything permanent. I don't see anything as serious. Um, so definitely let me know how this pans out for you this week, Scorpio. I'd love to hear about it. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to leave my video a like and subscribe. Be sure to share my video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages and I'll connect with you soon, Scorpio. Bye.